semua, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Saya harap semua orang sehat, duduk di rumah, and just be strong. Okay, so for today's um, content, saya minta my manager untuk tanyakan kepada um, my fans di luar sana apa-apa soalan. So, I akan jawab. The feedback is good. Banyak gila soalan I dapat. Tapi, because of time, I will just limit it to 15 questions. Okay? So, jom mula dengan soalan pertama. Tessah dari Pol Polanda, Bengkulu, Indonesia. Izin nak tanya, apa erti penggemar jauh menurut Kak Sally dan seberapa pentingnya penggemar untuk Kak Sally? Um, I rasa penggemar tu peminat lah kan, right? Um, it's very important dan I bertuah dan bersyukur sangat sebab ada um, such a good support system. I would say bila I start off my career, dulu dah 10 tahun, 12 tahun lepas, I tak, tak terfikir pun nak berlakon sebenarnya tapi it just came out of nowhere and I think I've just found that as a passion. Um, at first memang I rasa macam you know, you're starting out, you're not that very good, ada, ada colournya macam you nak putus asa kan. But I persevered and then after a while tu, I banyak buat lagi jobs, I I explored my horizons, yada yada yada. Masa tiba ada peminat, ada, ada fans lah and at the time I was like, huh? I ada peminat? Wow, you know. Um, but I would say, memang penting untuk ada peminat because they are, um, Semangat untuk you guys. Let's say kalau I have uh, a really bad day and I rasa macam again putus asa, I have really negative day, I macam tak nak berlakon lagi dah, banyak critics lah, itulah ni lah. Peminat akan, uh, you know, they'll just make my day lah. Itu so, ada segi sebab semua peminat-peminat I sejenis-sejenis yang really appreciate hasil kerja saya. So, muah! Okay, second question. Second question, Sonia Octaviani dari Padang, Indonesia. Bagaimana cara Kak Sally untuk berdepan dengan fans yang terlalu fanatik dengan Kak dan menghadapi haters yang sudah melampau sangat? Wow. I ada banyak bodyguards. Um, I hire like <laughs> 10 bodyguards. Tak adalah. I tak pernah ada bodyguard. I rasa bodyguard I, suami I je lah. <laughs> um, I, my, my manager je lah Kak Didi is my bodyguard and I Again, it's also like image, you know. I tak appear macam, you know, tiba-tiba so full of myself, kan? Macam bongkak. Wow, ada bodyguards, you know. Like, no, 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 no pictures, no pictures. No, I mean, it is part of me as a public figure. Kalau ada peminat datang, nak ambil gambar, yes, I will say, um, of course, you know. And that's also a good um, thing about me as I, I memang penyabar dan sangat baik hati i'm not making this up but i do if there's a fan that comes up to me i akan bergambar cuz you know don't have gambar ambil gambarlah uh, <laughs> kalau menghadap haters yang melampau tu so far alhamdulillah tak ada haters until now um dan i pun macam tak layan kalau ada haters pun um, I rasa yang melampau sangat dari segi komen je lah di social media, you know, dia punya komen-komen yang ada kalanya uh, lucah juga kan. So, what I do, I tak layan je. Kalau I betul-betul kena layan, I kena bagi tahu, hey, this is too much, I, I'll just give a piece of my mind lah. Lepas tu, I block. Macam tu je. Baiklah, next question. Azlin Sidik dari Langkawi. Dari dulu sampai sekarang, mesti banyak terima hadiah dari peminat. Bagaimana Sally organize dan menyimpan semua hadiah-hadiah itu? It's, it's so cute tau hadiah korang. So, I akan letak dalam satu kotak. Um, yes, it's it's precious. Actually, bukan satu kotak. Banyak kotak sebab banyak hadiah. Wow. Um, yeah, so I akan label kat situ fans from... Eh, sorry. Presents from fans. I'm not kidding. I do that. Um, so, ada dekat rumah my dad lah. Kat situ. And sometimes... You know, over the years, I saja nak buka and just reminisce. Banyak I dapat gambar I, nota-nota yang sweet sangat from you guys. So, thank you. Nilia dari Sibu, Sarawak. Apa perasaan Kak Sally bila dapat fans yang sangat sporting dan selalu sokong kejaya Kak Sally dan selalu memberi semangat kepada Kak Sally? I think I dah uh, jawab soalan ni. I'm so blessed. Bertuah. Um, because I think dari, uh, dari kejayaan drama Nora Elina itu saat permulaan bila 
ada fans yang nak uh, tubuhkan fan club saya lah Team Siti Saleha And itu je, satu-satu je fan club yang saya ada Iaitu Team Siti Saleha dari, dari dulu sampai sekarang dah 8 tahun kot Yeah, so I am so blessed to have just one fan club Yang setia and makin ramai members dalam fan club <laughs> Next question, Ain Shakila dari Selangor Lima perkara tentang Sally yang ramai tak tahu. I am very adventurous. I suka, I'm into sports. I suka ATV. I like rock climbing. I suka hiking. And then I do have like right now MCO kan. You nak tahu apa lagi kebolehan you. And from before I dah lama suka melukis. Tapi I just keep it to myself sebab... For me, itu macam therapy untuk I. I love playing with colours. So yeah, I suka melukis sometimes. <laughs> Yang ketiga, I... Bad habit, I bite my nails. But, apa lagi? <laughs> Yang tak tahu eh. Um, who's calling me? My dad. Kejap, kejap. Daddy. Let's call you back. I'll call you back. Daddy, I'll call you back, okay? I love you. Kejap lagi. Bye. Um, yeah. So, apa lagi yang, oh, I, I suka makan. My husband calls me a fatty because I do enjoy my food. Uh, tapi, I dah stop makan tengah malam. Kalau aku 12, tu rasa macam apa. Dululah I akan makan. Tapi sekarang macam, no, don't eat. Usia makin meningkat ni, jangan makan <laughs> tengah malam. Uh, tak tahu. Oh, maybe tak tahu. Maybe don't tak tahu yang sembang face je lah abang saya. Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh, Laila Ampang dari Ampang Assalamualaikum Watak yang paling mencabar bagi Sally Yang Sally bawa kan Dan watak apa yang Sally tak pernah bawa Yang Sally nak bawa So for me Watak paling mencabar bagi saya Ialah Masa saya lakukan watak Tina Dalam filem tujuh Because that's That goes Way past my comfort zone I pegang watak yang uh, Suka perempuan Very tomboy To convince a lot of people at the time sebab ramai yang macam tak ada confidence yang I boleh bawa yang I boleh pegang watak tu and I did so well sampai I menang anugerah untuk watak tu <laughs> Alhamdulillah I menang uh, anugerah pelakon pembantu uh, filem terbaik untuk watak itu um, di ASK 2 tahun lepas so like I said it's you know do this or do whatever that you're doing in whatever field that you're doing and do it well and you just prove to people that you can do it very satisfying um, experience for me apa watak yang Sally tak pernah bawa lagi? banyak I, I, banyak lagi and I can't nail it down apa lagi watak yang I, I belum buat because I think it goes with um, pace, it goes with time and I bersyukur sebab banyak skrip yang I dapat memang uh, you know naskah yang baik yang bagus atau watak pun yang I tak pernah pegang sebelum ni and you know as uh, an, as an actress don't repeat your characters yang you pernah bawa sebelum ni you know let's say kalau watak Mia Adriana kan I dah pegang watak Mia Adriana and then lagi satu naskah datang yang I rasa watak tu Sama dengan watak Mia, I takkan ambil because Don't do it <laughs> Don't, just don't um, Yeah, it's also an advice from uh, Helen Mirren Dia cakap jangan uh, Lakukan watak yang sama Berkali-kali, just don't do that <laughs> Right, next question Anik dari Bangi Aktiviti yang Kak Sally lakukan untuk mengisi masa lapang Kak Sally dan mengapa I I cook I baca buku, I ambil kelas um, French, nak belajar bahasa uh, Perancis Just to fill up my time sebab bila lagi you boleh buat, you know You have to take advantage of this MCO and apa? find out what hobbies, new hobbies that you like to do, kan? I do this new thermal mix which it's a... Uh, Life saver for me um, Because I boleh masak benda-benda I tak terfikir pun nak masak ha. So my husband is very happy 
Baiklah, next question. Ika dari Klang. Hey Klang girl, my hometown girl. Apa planning Sally dalam masa 10 tahun akan datang? Adakah terus berlakon atau menjalankan sesuatu perniagaan? Um, I sejenis orang yang I tak suka plan. I I, I just let it flow, you know. Um, dan I rasa itu lagi exciting. Also, like, have a focus what you want lah. But, yeah, I... I I tak nak fikir dan 10 tahun akan datang macam mana. You know, hopefully I masih lagi berlakon. InsyaAllah, hopefully ada lagi yang nak uh, ambil I berlakon. Hopefully, maybe I will produce or menulis ke. Yeah, but I would say yes, it's all there. I memang ada perancangan nak buat semua tu. Yana Setiawati dari Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Ketika kita sedang melakukan sesuatu, mesti ada yang namanya kegagalan. Bagaimana Siti Saleha menghadapi kegagalan tersebut? Lalu macam mana cari Kak Sally untuk bangkit dan meningkatkan kembali rasa semangat sehingga dapat menjadi macam Sally sekarang ni? Just be yourself dalam failure tu. Always see the positive things in in it. Um, dan banyak berdoa. Um, yeah, a good support system. Banyakkan doa. Um, breathe. <laughs> okay, Putri Hazlin, Rawang, Selangor. Assalamualaikum, pretty girl. Apakah perasaan Kak Sally apabila melihat semula watak Mia Adriana dan kalau saya ingin menghadiahkan hadiah, adakah Kak Sally terima? Boleh je, nanti bagi alamat eh. Hantar je hadiah tu. Uh, Mia Adriana dan dalam season tu, I... I You know, walaupun ramai yang macam Kenapa kena ada season 2 right, Bukan dari segi peminat Of course, you all suka nak tengok kan Season 2 um, Because we always think Kalau ada sambungan, it will be a flop Tapi Alhamdulillah tak ada Season 2 did really well Dan season 1, I dapat banyak komen saying You guys really enjoyed All the characters' performances Macam, you know, lakonan lagi Bagus dari season 1 and what not Um But I'll be happy to play Mi Adriana again, you know. Uh, Mi Adriana memang one of those characters yang I rasa semua pelakon memang suka untuk pegang, you know. Sebab dia macam bersahaja tapi dia macam kejam dan dia nakal dan dia jahat. Tapi punya yang it's just, it's it's um it's a good role. <laughs> okay, next question. Afnan dari Kerama. Miss Sally. Bakal kembali dalam tujuh hari mencerita iku tiga tak? Um, I tak baca skrip lagi. I tak tahu jalan cerita macam mana lagi. Um, Insya Allah. Okay. Next question. Erna dari Melaka. Selama digelar anak seni, apa lagi yang belum dicapai? Banyak. You know, dari segi perwatakan, pencapaian. Um, not to say I tak bersyukur dengan pencapaian I uh, selama ni. Alhamdulillah, it's all good, but could do better. And always don't don't be in your comfort zone, you know. Kerja keras lagi. Show that you're capable and you deserve the win and deserve the character and deserve a certain project, you know. Don't stop now. Kalau boleh, spread your wings. Go international. Lakon di Hollywood, inshallah. Kalau ada peluang. Okay, Mas Jidah dari Brunei. What's the best piece of advice you pernah receive and what is the most useless purchases you made so far? <laughs> okay, eight, okay. I did do like soalan, so I'll, I'll answer this one. Um, best piece of advice, I would say from my beloved sister, Kak Didi. She always tells me to be myself. Right. Right. Chips, any, you know, challenges that I'm facing, they check up. Just be yourself. And I think that's that's so important, you know. What, why would you want to fit yourself? Why would you want to be some somebody else? You put on this face outside, tapi bila you balik rumah, you menangis, you blah, blah, blah. No, just be yourself. And just show people who you really are. Not too much. <laughs> Then my useless purchase so far, you lah. I believe this. Right now, everything, yeah, I believe, because everybody can online shopping. 
So Lazada is my online shopping to go da 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 and I am obsessed with storage sebab ada banyak benda so I I nak simpan nak susun jadi cantik lah. So the storage is basically to store up all your cosmetics. Tapi bila I buka kotak tu it's very flimsy. Dia punya benda tu is not it's so frail. Dia macam nak jatuh, macam nak cabut, you know macam mana? It's just no, it's useless. It's like 20 ringgit waste of my money. Right, last, second last question. CJ dari Perak. If Kat Sally didn't become an actress, what kind of character would you have chosen? And what kind of career do you intend to be working on? Dulu masa kecil kan, I suka draw dalam buku I, buku latihan, buku sekolah tu. Like, you know, maps of house. Where's your bedroom? Where's your living room? Where's everything? It's like, and I've always thought I would be an architect. Which I'm, I'm doing this and I like this. And it's and it's also either an architect or like an interior design. Which I'm, you know, it links, right? So probably either one of those. Last question. Farah Ifa de Joho. What's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done for you? Baiklah. Boom. Um, weirdest thing. Yelah, I ingat lima tahun lepas ke enam tahun lepas, I di Singapore. And I don't know why, usually I takkan kongsi what my challenges or my apa, if I'm having a bad day. So, what I, my phone hilang uh, di Singapore. Um, and then, I don't know, I, I rasa yes, I ada send message dekat my social media. Cakap, guys, I lost my phone. Uh, whoever yang ada nombor I Please DM me Sebab I tak ada nombor korang And then this fan I think a week later after that He's Singaporean Dia cakap ke I Dia DM I Dekat social media Dia cakap I have your phone Kalau you nak Jumpa I di Singapore That's the weirdest thing lah for me And I was like What a creep You know And uh, my manager just stopped Instagram dia memang dia fan yang a really hardcore fan. So, yeah, that just creeped me out lah. That's very weird. Cakap dia ada phone I. <laughs> Weirdo. So, yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for the questions. I was very happy to answer it. Hello, you guys know I bought content line. Please just drop the ideas down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Um, stay safe this MCO. Love you guys. Be safe. Take care. Mwah.